All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be checking out Pulse Music Bot, which is a bot that allows you to play music. It's got some things like it's got a couple of basic filters, but most of what it does is it just plays music from places like SoundCloud and Spotify. So that's what it'll focus on and what we'll be checking out here today. So as is tradition, I start out every one of these tutorials by kicking the bot from the server so that I can show you how I get it on the server. So I go to the, my server settings by clicking on the name at the top here, going to server settings, going to the app directory, and we're going to type in pulse. You can also type in music bot, which is how I found that originally. But here it is at the top pulse. It's listed under social and it's in 20,000 different servers. So if you go ahead and click on that, you can read more about it, and it'll tell you that it plays music from Spotify, SoundCloud, and more. I I don't know if there actually is an and more with a lot of these different music bots. I think they just say that, because most of it plays mostly off of Spotify, followed by SoundCloud. Um, it's been mostly lag-free as I've been playing around with it, although it is a little slow sometimes to listen to my commands. But we're going to click Add to Server, the big blue button, Add it to my Chupacabra test server. And then down here at the bottom, even though it's kind of off screen, is the authorize button. I'm going to say all those permissions it wants are fine. And then I have to prove that I am, in fact, a, uh, a, a person. So it wants me to click on all images that contain an animal, at least what I think contains an animal. And then and it'll be like success. And then we can go to my server and we can start listening to the music. So the first thing you want to do. Uh, is actually type in the slash help command to understand all the different things that the bot can do. And I like this in part because, well, it tells you what platforms are supported right here in the first little pop-up, and it'll also tell you all of the commands for it not split up into different chunks. And it's not a lot of frills and thrills going on here. You just jump into the music channel and you start playing some music. So we're going to start with Alan Walker's Dreamer, because that's from NCS and won't get me in trouble. And one of the things I like here is they actually have a built in search function that actually lets you help you find the music that you want to listen to, not just assume that you're going to type in a search query and it's going to come back with the actual song. So we'll start with Alan Walker's Dreamer, and then I'll start adding in some other music as I do that. So let's what else is good? Uh, let's start slash play and let's add Cage Oni. And then we'll type in slash play and we'll find Clark's forever finally ends. What does that give me? Oh yeah, I found it. Nice. Okay, that's always good. Let me just turn my volume down a little bit. And then let's add some other ones. Let's add like a duplicate. Alan Walker's dreamer. So we'll add another duplicate of that, and then we'll start play, and let's see what else is it good. Rival Falling. That looks like the correct one. Does this actually let me search for NCS, actually? That would be really nice. Not, not really, which is something that I used to like a lot about, um... YouTube search was I could just search for just NCS, but that doesn't appear to be in the title for that, but that's fine. So carrying on here, when you start playing music, it provides you with the current like name of the, the song, the artist, who requested it, and then you've got your standard play controls. Like I can pause the song, I can then resume the song, I can shuffle it, I can fast forward, I can favorite this for later, and then I can adjust the volume with these buttons right here. And I can also potentially loop the track by clicking on the loop button. And there's actually, okay, so this is off. This is looping the current song or the current cue. And then this is looping the current song. Cause I think that's a tiny, tiny little one on this icon. Okay. That's kind of handy. I've never seen a bot do that with their icons before. And if you want, you can look at what the current queue is. 
So part of the reason why I added a duplicate to the queue is we also have commands to remove things from the queue and I can remove number three from the queue. So now it's just all of those other songs that I inputted, which is nice. So now it's just Oni, Forever Finally Ends, and Falling. And just like you can use the button commands to control the music, you can also type in regular chat commands to do the same thing for pause and resume. Or we can even type in skip if we want to skip to the next song. So you have full control over this, which is nice. Although it does have a kind of a slight delay sometimes when it's downloading certain songs to play, which happens. Not everything is supremely snappy with some of these platforms. And that's not really the bot's fault. That's more of like a Spotify thing. And if we type in help, so we have the help list down here, we can also check out things like what's the ping for the bot. And the ping is currently 76 milliseconds on the API, but a total of 375 milliseconds. That's actually a lot, but the playback is clear. So if the commands are a little slow, I don't know if that's a big deal. It's not like we're playing like a first person shoot or anything. And we can check out the stats if we want as well. So the stats are it just tells us how many servers this is playing in, what version it's in and how long it's been up since the last restart. And there's also um, the ability to add filters to the songs like I can turn on bass. But I don't know if these filters actually do anything because I've turned on like karaoke mode and bass boosted mode. But it doesn't seem like Okay, so the... No, it doesn't seem like it does much. So some of these filters might be for specific songs, but it doesn't seem like they do anything, at least not to me. So you could play around with that if you want. But for the most part, what this bot is offering is what a lot of bots are kind of shifting towards that I've been checking out lately, which is it plays music and it focuses primarily on that. You've also got things like the radio, so we can type in help radio and it'll tell us what the radio command does so it'll play one of the selected radio stations so we have a radio option and you can select from one of these different genres of music to play let's play some harmony and maybe if i skip the current song it'll start playing the radio instead so let's type in slash radio and let's get some harmony going. Oh yeah, it does play the radio. Okay, that's kind of handy. All right. Although it's currently in the middle of, uh, of an ad, so I'll just pause that for now. But that, in a nutshell, is a look at Pulse Music. It's a nice music player. It's a little slow on some of the commands, but otherwise it's been pretty snappy. As you can see from this video, it comes with the ability to play music, play the radio, have a playlist, play different songs, add some filters, jump to a certain point in the song, skip to the next song, all the things you see here. And it works pretty well. I mean, I haven't had any hiccups. It hasn't like crashed or told me it had an error while I've been playing around with it today. So check it out for yourselves. I'll put a link to the vit to this in the video description below. And you can also find it by just looking up Pulse on the Discord app directory, which is where I get a lot of my apps from these days, and I will catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.